Alrighty, fam. Let's let's do it. New collab uh, dropped last night for me. Uh, the um, what's it called? Announcement, I suppose, was last night. Um, so we'll talk about it today. Um, let's start off with the fact that it is a collab I still have never heard of. I don't know whether it's just me and I don't watch enough anime. But, like, all of these ones, I just I just don't know. Um, like, none of them are, like, the mainstream ones, which is probably on me for being such a mainstream anime person. But it's, what, I mean, I don't even... I, and I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments, and I, I remember looking it up and saying, oh, that's the collab that it is, but I don't even know the name of the anime. So, uh, this will probably tell you how... Uh, oh, there you go, un Unemployed Tensei. It is. It's just here. So, um, I don't know if you guys are excited or not. Let me know in the comments down below. I am not really fast either way, just because I don't really know the anime. I have no ties to it. I don't really, you know, have any obsessions with pulling the heroes or anything like that. The hero, the units look pretty okay. Uh, I'm interested to see how they play. But let's 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 have a quick look and let's jump into it. So, um, obviously, we'll start we'll start with the new heroes and then we'll go through the actual patch notes and stuff as well. So. Unemployed Tensei collab coming, uh, so it'll be now-ish for JP by the time this video goes up, and then for us, us slowly global players, it'll be next week. Um, so look, we've got four new characters, um, and I've got them all open here as pictures, so shout out to Reddit for having them translated ready to go for me. Um, but we'll go through them here. So the first one is actually a red human, right? So as you can see, it even Reddit's even told us what heroes they work well with, which is awesome. Um, their relic increases attack related stats by 5% for each magic ball granted to you. Um, and the passive is for every human ally passes many battle, basic stats is increased by 10%. Um, and gives yourself one magic ball before the skill used by a human ally is activated. So basically, what I'm getting from this is you get like a 30% stat boost in um, PvP, right? Um, and then for humans, which is actually probably really good. Uh, like this is probably a really good unit for to go with Roxy um and Escanor, right so like we're mucking around with arthur the other day uh with roxy and stuff and i think this unit's gonna be really really solid um i think i'm gonna fix turn my mic a little bit I think it's gonna fix the, the sound from the other video um so anyway single target attack skill uh use one magic ball before the skill use a human ally is activated and when you use a single target attack skill all the magic balls given to you are removed so basically you want to stack the magic balls up to five times to increase your crit hit, crit crit chance uh, by 50% and the damage dealt by 30%. Um, so basically you want to use Escanor, Roxy, whoever else you've got in the human team up to five times. And then when he's got his five uh, magic balls, you want to use a flood card, which will give you an extra 30% damage and increase your ch crit chance by 50%. That'll also increase your damage dealt by own single target attack skills. <clears throat> Excuse me, by 20%, by 20% for each ball. So if you've got five balls and use a flood card, you get an extra 100% damage plus the 30%, so it's 130% damage dealt, I think if I'm reading that correctly, yeah, it'd be 130% damage dealt, as well as increasing your crit chance by 30%. So that on a good flood card could do very, very well, including if you increase your attack led stats by 5%. So this is a very, very attack heavy hero, obviously. Um, you have the infect card as well. And then the alt, uh, I think this is at level one, you give yourself three magic balls and for each magic ball, increase your damage by 30%. Deal damage equal to 520% of your attack power to all enemies. So very, very heavy attack card. I'll be interested to see his stats and stuff, see how they go, but very, very attack heavy. Um, should hopefully work, like I said, work really well with Escanor and stuff and do a heck of a lot of damage. So that's the first one. That is um, Rudius Grey Rat. <laughs> I'm sure you guys will probably know what these are. You can let me know down below. Um, actually, sorry, that is a 6-6 ultimate from what I can see. So that is 6-6. Um, yeah, so one magic ball at 350%, and then as you go up to 6-6, six, six, it's three magic balls at 525%. Uh, so next one is Erisporus Grey Rat, which I think is going to be this one. Yeah, perfect. So again, is red unit, uh, is a human, um, and the relic increases damage dealt by specific allies by 10% for each magic ball given to Rudius. Okay, so it's very, very brother and sister vibes from what I can tell. Um... Hopefully they're not like husband and wife and I've just ruined that, but brother and sister. Um, and there's a PvE units, it looks like. Because like you like you could probably, like this passive looks like it works everywhere, 
but this is a very specific unit to PvE, right? So it's very specific, specific ally participating in PvE battle. The specific allies' attack-related abilities are increased by 10%. Um, and the damage dealt by single target skills is increased by 15%. So it has to be a human, a red human. So this is where like people like like Reinhardt are going to be really goaded, I think. Um, obviously as well, if you have Kizune, it'll work really well on the PvE side of things because you get the rank up and everything as well. Um, you have a Flood card for the ultimate 6-6. Six, six. You have a Cancels, Buffs, and Stances on everyone, which is cool. And then you just have the standard Deplete Ultimate Orbs. So uh, I'm really interested to see how these play out um, and how these collabs work. Um, because, like, we've got two red humans here. So these all work really well together. But this is PvE specific. So I'm not really sure her place in the game. I, I would be interested to see if the passive works in Demonic Beasts. But even then, you'd have red humans. So I don't, it, it doesn't really... It doesn't work for me. Like, I don't... I don't... I'm a little... Maybe maybe I'm missing something, and we'll check it out in the patch notes as we keep going. But let's, let's keep going. So this is... Who are we up to now? <laughs> Roxy Magurdia. All right. Um, so Roxy is an unknown. Obviously, green works well with the unknown team, right? Reduces damage taken by allies affected by your own shield by 20%. So she basically gives every unknown person a shield equal to 200% of attack, which is really good. Um, and given the same effect to, again, again to allies at the start of an ally's turn. So every, every turn, you basically get a shield. From what I can see. In addition, it grants 20% increased attack related stats for one turn if allies have not had yet had their shield effect removed. So basically you need to break the shield. Or or they're just gonna become super OP, right? Like you need to break the shield so you can do heaps of damage. Otherwise, you are kind of in trouble. Um I am interested in this side. Then there's got the deplete orbs again, and you have the Pierce AoE. Um and then it gives all enemies 160% less stats at 6-6 six, six for two turns and deals damage equal to 700% of attack. That's pretty big. Um, that's pretty huge. I'm very interested, like, because I don't have a Echidna, right? Because I don't summon on collabs usually. But this could slot in with where Echidna is almost. And you could have an okay team. I don't know. This is an unknown buffer, right? And then same thing again. You've got a green unknown with some character art, which I'm sure... Community is going to love because that's just the community for us. Um, <clears throat> and then the relic is each time you use a single target attack skill increases damage dealt with single target attacks by 20%. So basically, you just get a 60% attack buff every time you use the PS card. Oh, either of the cards. So that's really good. Passive for each unknown of un for each ally of unknown race participating in PvP. So this is a PvP specific unit. Your basic scratch will increase by 7%. So that's a 21% increase. At the start of the battle, battle, and the enemy with the highest fighting class will be marked. And the marked enemy will be Gislane. I presume that's just a term for the marked enemy. Only Derudia can attack. Derudia can attack. Also, if you attack a marked enemy... So hold on. Yeah, okay. Hold on. The marked enemy will be Gislane. Only Derudia can attack. I think that's slightly translated. I think we can only attack that marked enemy. If you attack a marked enemy, your damage dealt will increase by 40%, and if the marked enemy attacks you, the enemy's attack list stats will be reduced by 30%. Okay. So it looks like we single out the heart, the highest fighting class, the highest CC unit, and then we just go for them. And you got two single targets and then a power strike on all enemies. Interesting. Power strike on everyone. I don't know if we've got a power strike on everyone. I'm sure you guys will let me know again down there in the, the old comments section areas. But I don't think we've got power strike on everyone. So that's that's the that's the four units, right? So let's have a look. The passive. Yep, it's PvP. PvP uh, just normal everywhere. Okay, so she doesn't work in Demonic Beast and doesn't work in PvP for the, that. And they're all, none of them are passive um, uniques. So that's interesting. Um, and then this is the banner. Right, so it's a 600, 600 pity banner? Wasn't it? I think Kenda was 900, wasn't she? Maybe I'm imagining things. Um, so there's those, and then there's Green Eskinor. <laughs> 
the rest of this banner is rough. Team, the rest of that banner is rough. Um, I'm really not sure. I think I'm gonna have to see them in in use in work because I I'm a bit iffy on collab pulling anyway. Every time I miss a collab, though, I do regret it because I then want one of the units from the collab. But I mean, the only one that's uh, I suppose that they, they they all sound decent. Yes, like I think the fact that this works everywhere uh, with all the attack related stats, boosts and stuff, I think is good, but it's kind of like a melee passive, right? With the with the uh, shackles of purgatory, the whole building it up and then using it. I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, let's 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 have a look at the patch notes, but I'm not. I'm not sold, and I don't know whether it's worth the gems. If you, especially if you're not into the collab before the festival, I'll be interested to see some gameplay. Anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep going. So yeah, the four new characters we've just been through those. Um, so oh no, there you go. Greyco times Mushoku Tensai. I'm sorry if I've butchered that. I'm sure I have, but that's the collab apparently. Unemployed reincarnation. Okay. There you go. All right, so there's the four holy relics for everyone. So you'll be able to collect those usually during the event, right? They usually give them out for kind of free as you do stuff in the game. Uh, this is what you can purchase. Uh, let's keep going. So these are all the packs and stuff you can get, right? Um, improved artifact set function. Allows you to check the artifact set for each category. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, so search artifact sets. Okay, I don't, I don't hate that at all. That's quite helpful. Um, it is annoying sometimes, like having to slot, slide through all of them to try and find the cards that you want. Um, team formation, the championship match, collaboration, login bonus. Okay, so you get your. Oh, okay, whoa. Okay, hold up. Day one's five, so there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, six, seven. So that's what seventeen, twenty-two. 25, 30. So you get three multis. My math right here, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, 20. Okay, so you get three multis. That's kind of cool. I don't hate that. And another one. Okay, okay, okay. Mission details and rewards. Okay. So you get four multis, plus you get the PvE unit. I thought they were going to do that because that's how you got Kizune, right? You got the free unit. So I thought that was going to be the case. You can still pull her in the banner? Oh. I would be pretty frustrated if I was pulling on this banner. I mean, dupes are not bad, right? But I pulled the PvE unit rather than one of the other ones when you get it for free anyway. Um, okay, so yeah, her Holy Relic's pretty much only specific if you do have Rudius as well. Okay, um, I mean, it's good that you get four multis. That's really nice. And you get the free unit, of course. That's really cool. Um, what are the event details? Okay, roulette's back. So you just keep going until you get everything, basically. Um, magician doll. You can buy some magician dolls. All right. Uh, by clearing each stage. Cool, that makes sense. Um, so I think that's the reward list for the event. So that's part of the event, right? Because that gives you the uh, Holy Relic materials. So it looks like a weapon and it looks like an outfit for Old Mate. <laughs> I'm just going to call him Old Mate because I don't know what the actual... Yeah. Anyway, let's just keep going. <laughs> Um, I'm just, it's getting weird. Sometimes this YouTube stuff's weird because you just sit there and laugh at yourself or like you pretend, I don't know. Anyway, we'll keep going. Uh, normal rewards. So, um, nothing crazy. Okay. This little event is back. It looks like, oh, this is the one where you got to go through all the different areas and work your way up. I don't hate this one. I don't mind this one at all. Uh, the completionist in me, unfortunately, has to go backwards and forwards and do them all, which is a little bit annoying as you go. Um, but... 
that's not too bad. You get it done pretty easily. Uh, you can change it for, okay, yeah, obviously the stuff that gets you further in the, or the energy further in it. Uh, level rewards for each camp, cool. So four SSR pendants, four, four, and then four of those in total. That's not bad. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting more of those. It's always good for the box CC. Um, event Annihilation Battle. Very cool. Okay, cool. So this is going to give you another box uh, for... Yep. So it gives you another piece of the Holy Relic set up, um, which is good. So you can do it three times a day. Normal Heart Extreme. Event Boss. Cool. That should be pretty good. We'll do a guide, obviously, of course, for all that as we go. Um, and then the exchange lineup. Okay, an outfit for the free PvE unit. That's cool. You are pendant. And, of course, the final... Uh, or not the final box. Yeah, it'd be the final box, I think. Three. Um, then you've obviously got all the costumes and stuff, which all the whales will, of course, be buying. Um, so we'll be able to see all those, which will be cool. That little black wizard costume looks pretty cool, I think. There's a couple of pretty cool looking ones there, actually. I don't hate any of those. Oh, here we go. Just scroll down and we'll be able to see them more. Um, they're pretty cool. Let's, can we, we can zoom in at some point. Sure, there we go. Let's, let's zoom in a little bit. Um, okay, these are cool. I don't hate these at all. They look good. The sword looks cool. Oh, that's a big katana thing. That looks sick for her. Um... Okay, and there's another one. Right, oh yeah, so each of them has 15, 30, and 80. So that's a holy relic, right? So, if I'm not mistaken, we need one more. If you're going to get all of them, you need one more for the holy relic. So we've only found three so far. Um, okay, so okay, during the event period, you receive a to allow you to create soap for free. So you'll get one for free. So there you go, there's your four. So if you have all four, you'll be able to collect them all as long as you do all the events and stuff, as always, right? That's how they usually always do it. Um, yeah, to one sacred artifact, yeah. There you go. There you go. So it gives you a list of where you can get them all, and that'll give you the four for the four new collab units. Um, you can also create sacred items. Yeah, so if, if you do need to, you can go back and do any of the um, holy relics for any of the old units if you do have them and you don't have them. If you do have them, but you don't have their holy relic. Um, so, like, they all will work for the other ones as well. Um, event exchange list. Oh, yeah, cool. So, the, uh, the, the, the exchange material events back. I actually really like this because I always trade in all of these um, to give me this stuff, which is really nice. Um, might maybe do with this? I don't know. This is kind of worth the... Uh, Kind of worth the upgrades for me, but we'll see. We'll see if I do that. I definitely do this though. I always do this one because this is you just have like if you do if you do any sort of demonic beasts at any time, or you do them kind of trying to farm them to get holy relics, you have like a million of these, right? So always worth doing that. Uh, support events, cool collaboration. Yep, and you can obviously have them as login units if you want. You've still got the hawk pass, which is nice. Standard. Okay, cool. The Freya outfit's still there. I did want to keep the Freya outfit. And there's a new Roxy outfit. That definitely looks like the Madness Roxy. So that'll be cool. Uh, if anyone can afford that. There's so many of these coming out. And like they cost 1,400 each or 30 diamonds, right? So, ah. Uh, sometimes I really wish I wailed on this game. Because some of the outfits are sick. Like that, that I reckon that's going to look really cool. And as you guys saw from hopefully yesterday's video as well as tomorrow's video. Roxy's actually kind of good. I actually really could do kind of like Roxy. Um, and then some of the... Yeah, and then there's for green mono. Is it just for green mono? I think it's just for green mono. Other mono, Lilia and Merlin. And then another Fort Sogris one. And, and that's it. Okay. So that was a pretty big video for just a patch update and a collab update. But as to be expected, right? It's a lot to cover. Um, so for new units, uh, this one you get for free. I'm not sold on it. You guys can let me know down in the comments below what you think. Um, and I'm sure you'll all flame me for having poor anime knowledge. Uh, cause it is pretty poor. I just have no idea what these guys are. Is what it is. Um, it's only so many hours in the day, right? Um, and then there's obviously all the event bosses and stuff. So you stand a collaboration event. I'm pretty excited for it. Mainly just for the, the massive in influx of resources and the free unit for box CC and stuff. I am still on the fence whether I'll summon, to be honest. I don't know. I don't really have an unknown team. and I don't really build the human teams that much. But we'll see. We'll see. It might be worth it. Um, 
it might be worth it. So, um, yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoy that video. Apologies, it's a little bit later than usual. I did have the other video loaded, but of course we had to do this video today. So let me know what you guys think down below. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider it. We are so close to a thousand subs. I've got a cool little announcement of a thousand subs. Uh, but if you're not, happy to have you here. And thanks for watching. Um, as always, guys, I'll catch you in the next one.